So last night, Max Spears' mom reached out to me and told me that a week before Isaac went off that bridge, he had reached out to her. And she knew that he was doomed from that interaction. Max Spears was a victim of Michael Aquino's. Max and I had just started working together when Max ended up dead. Max was telling people that he was being inundated with these directed energy weapons and he was exhausted because he couldn't sleep. And when he died, after he died, the people surrounding him told this bizarre story of black crap coming out of his mouth and made it so fanciful that it didn't even make sense. But when Max's mom got Max's body back, they discovered that his phone was completely waterlogged. I did the first interview that she gave with her. She gave me the first interview. It was a bad interview because I was so angry about the whole situation because I knew Mike Lacchino was behind Max's death. What this tells me is that Isaac was running with all of the stuff that I told him. That's how he got alerted to Mike Lacchino. Because like I said before, the last conversation I had with Isaac, he told me that he had gotten four of Mike Lacchino's phone numbers and he was harassing him on the phone. So Isaac was running with the things that I told him. And I definitely told him about Max. And I also told him about Lori King. But who are you going to call about Lori King? She ended up dead. And her husband, who had an issue with it, was dead less than a year later as well. I think Corey Daniels, the Phoenix Enigma story, is ridiculous. And when you look at the facts of the situation, he's way more involved than he wants people to know. That's the reason why he has obsessively for four years controlled everything about Isaac Cappy. That's the reason why he's on my video. I didn't even know about him, what, a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks? until I started posting stuff and all of a sudden he was on my page with his whole group including Emily Thorne who's directly connected to Lucian Greaves Doug Mesner you know I think that they're all together and I think that Isaac was murdered because he was running with the things that I told him I think this all has to do with the satanic Nazi pedophile ring that I have been trying to expose that Max was trying to expose that Lori was trying to expose and that Isaac was trying to expose and I don't find it a coincidence that I'm the only one left and the entire group that was involved with it is now running around trying to assert that I'm mentally ill because they don't like what I have to say and if you're wondering whether or not Corey is involved with the occult, yeah, he is. By his own admission, he left this on one of the replies. It's interesting because last night I did a video saying how it's interesting that they reply to me, but they don't reply to anybody else. And all of a sudden when I woke up this morning, they've gone on a campaign to try and address everyone else. They are so predictable. But I don't think it's a coincidence that Corey Daniels was at the bridge that Isaac Cappy went off of. In fact, I think he was there before he says that he was there. I don't think it's a coincidence that the last person to talk to Isaac ended up becoming Corey's wife. There are way too many coincidences. And they don't like me pointing them out. And I don't care. I'm not mentally ill. I'm just someone who has a point of view that they don't seem to like. And there's a reason for that. But I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. And I'm going to do everything I can to expose this satanic Nazi pedo ring. Because I think that it's a bad thing. And I think murderers are bad people who deserve justice. That's just my opinion call it mentally ill or not.